In our previous videos, we've seen how to create a new project using Doxel. In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert an existing non-Doxel project into a Doxel project. So here I've created a new site called Example 4. It's just a basic Drupal 8 installation. You can see here's the file system right here. Uh, this is not running inside of Doxel. This is running on the native version of Apache that comes bundled with OS X and natively installed MySQL. I want to convert this site so that it runs inside of Doxel. And we'll do and we'll create uh, one node just so we can see more easily when the site has finished importing. Okay, so this is not so hard to do. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is move all of these doc root, uh, doc root files inside a subfolder of our project root. Which we'll call doc root. Technically we could call it something else. Uh, there is support for that, but it's just a little easier if we follow that convention. And the second thing we want to do, if we want to create a dot doxel directory. Uh, now we could generate our, con our doxel config files from scratch. What I'm going to do here actually is just grab the config files from the Drupal 8 example project. So let's download this. And unzip it. And we can actually discard most of these files. The only one we really need here is the .doxel directory. So let's go ahead and grab that. I'll store it on our desktop for safekeeping. If we look inside here, this is pretty familiar. We've seen this in all of our previous videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that .doxel directory and I'll put it inside our example for project. paste all those contents in. Okay, great. All right, so here we are at the terminal in our example for project. And now we should be able to start up Fin, to start up Doxel. Actually, I just realized I forgot one step. Forgot to change virtual host from Drupal 8. So let's, let's just update our uh, Doxel environment. Okay, now we should be ready to check out example 4.doxel. So you can see the first time we load the page we get an error, but that's okay, we can, we can solve this pretty easily. All we need to do is update our database credentials and import our database. So 
let's open up our settings.php file and go down to our database credentials. So these were just the database credentials that I picked out when I created when I created the site initially in my native Mac Apache installation. But uh, Doxel's actually opinionated on this subject. There's a set of credentials it wants you to use, so let's let's convert them over. Database name is going to be default. Username is root. The password is root. And the host is going to be db. Now that I have that all plugged in, we can refresh this page, and we'll still get an error, but it's a different error this time. Now the database connection is successful, but the database itself is empty. So this is pretty easy to solve. We just have to uh, export our database from the place where it lives currently and then import it into Doxel. Uh, so here's my, uh, here's my database that I've been using up until now, where we created that node just a minute ago. And let's export it. Export it to our desktop. And let's call it DB example four. Okay. Now that our uh, Doxel site is able to talk to the database server, it's really just a matter of importing our file. So we'll give the command fin sqli. The i stands for import. And the name of our file. So let's let that run. Import run. It's actually really fast as you can see. And refresh our page. And here we go. Here is our Drupal site imported into Doxel.